Hi guys, it is a hot, sticky, miserable day. Here in the end times in the furnace of Ithaca, New York, here at Bugs in a Jar Farm on this sweltering, sticky, what is it, uh, Tuesday, June the 8th. Good Lord, uh, here in the wet bulb, here in the wet bulb of upstate New York, but uh, I've been out, uh, Rob and I have been out building a, a stone stairwell to nowhere today, giving ourselves hernias and heat strokes. I uh, finally in here uh, enjoying my margarita for the end times and checking in and just a couple of things. I've been meaning uh, for several days to share with you this very weird thing from Twitter that was sent to me by, uh, by Alert Tribes member Kim down in Florida. Kim, are you going to make it up here this year, girl, or are we going to see you at Bugs in a Jar? Anyway, uh, she sent me this tweet. I do not go on Twitter, but, you know, these... All of this talk about, uh, you know, in the mainstream media about how the world is running out of babies. You know, hallelujah, the one bright spot uh, anywhere in the planet in the news. I talked about this, I talked about this with Gerardo Ceballos for my interview on Collapse Chronicles coming up on Sunday, talking about how the one ray of good news has been that uh, more and more women are choosing to have fewer and fewer children. And of course, the mainstream media and the New World Order, otherwise known as the global corporatocracy, is in absolute freakout mode. Uh, and uh, just absolute freakout mode about the threat to their customer base. So we have this tweet from Current Affairs asking the question on Twitter, who will weep for the non-existent people? <laughs> who will weep for the non-existent people? Well, anyone who has something to sell will weep for the non-existent people. Who the fuck do you think is going to weep for the non-existent people? It's people trying to sell you something. Someone who is never born is never going to buy any of your fucking planet-eating shit. That is who is going to weep for the unborn people. It's the fucking New World Order. It, it is the global corporatocracy. It's the same fucking world order that it's ever been 100% dependent on an ever-growing population. And so, it's no surprise. Who do you think responded to current affairs who will weep for the non-existent people? We have Business Week. Business Week tweeting, uh, in, in, you know, in response, Spare a thought. Spare a thought for the billions of people who will never exist. How a fucking Leah. Let's all spare a thought for the billions of people who will never fucking exist. I am uh, very jealous of those billions of people. <clears throat> As world population growth slows, the never conceived are the ultimate forgotten ones. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Business week. Yes. The never conceived are the ultimate forgotten ones. Anyway, guys, I think this speaks for itself about how fucked we are. 
Now this next one, guys, I have no idea. I mean, why would, uh, we're just going to call her Alert Tribes member Lulu, sent me this story right here from the mainstream media on the conversation. Uh, I guess found this story on the conversation and said, Hambone, have you thought about this? And I have to admit, I have never thought about bride kidnapping. So we're going to learn about bride kidnapping. Uh, never heard of kidnapping the woman of your dreams who you want to be your uh, woman for life recommending kidnapping her if you can't convince her any other way. Okay. There are many types of forced marriage in this world, but perhaps the most dramatic is marriage by abduction or bride kidnapping. Bride kidnapping is common in parts of Sub-Saharan Africa, the Caucasus, wherever the hell that is, and Central Asia in rural Kyrgyzstan, where over 60% of the country's population lives, surveys suggest one in three marriages begin with a bride kidnapping. There, and however you pronounce Kyrgyzstan, there, bride kidnapping is known as ala kachu, ala kachu, which translates as, quote, to take and run away. Yeah, there you go. Just, just, just go grab the bitch, throw her in your fucking truck, and take her away. There you go. It became technically illegal in 1984, but the practice continues today. So I guess what you want to do is fall in love with a doomer chick from Kyrgyzstan. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, so what is bride kidnapping? All right. A typical bride kidnapping occurs in a public place. A group of men, a group of men locates the woman that one of the men has chosen for his wife, whom he may know, but perhaps not know that well, huh, and carries her, screaming and struggling, into a waiting car. Hmm. The kidnapping victim is taken to the man's home where the women of the family attempt to talk the woman into consenting to the marriage. At this stage, some victims of bride kidnapping are rescued by their father or other male relatives. Now, it doesn't mention husbands, uh, you know, the existing husband uh, rescuing the bride. You know, anyway, uh, I don't know. I didn't talk about that here in this article. More often, though, having been kidnapped is so shameful that the victim and her family agrees to the marriage rather than risk the stigma of being a used woman. Uh, many people, uh, many Kurgs people, especially those in older generations, still see bride kidnapping as just a harmless tradition. Yes. One woman said, quote, It's a very old custom. Even I was married that way, and I am happy with my life. My husband never beat me, and everything turned out well. Yes. Uh, people younger than 50, I don't know whether that includes people three months before turning 50, are more likely to reject a la Kachu, especially when the couple are complete strangers. But 
they all believe that, you know, real bride kidnapping is a thing of the past and that such events today are pretend, otherwise known as staged kidnappings. Several Kyrgyz women confirmed for us that they had agreed to be kidnapped to uphold a tradition they see as romantic. There you go. I cannot think of anything more romantic than hiring uh, a bunch of your buddies to uh, go down there and throw a rope uh, over some woman uh, who will not, on her own volition, uh, do the right thing. So uh, anyway, I do want to thank Lulu for giving me the idea of bride kidnapping. And uh, we will see if the FBI shows up at my door uh, tomorrow. Anyway, get out there and kidnap your bride while it is still a romantic tradition. Bye, guys and ladies.